guys, so it is April 1st and I really wanted to get back into consistently doing these reading vlogs and more consistent filming, but <laughs> joke's on me, April Fools, because I filmed two videos last night and when I went to edit them, they were both extremely out of focus. I tried to edit them and make it work, but it was just really bothering me and it looked really bad, so I have to refilm those. But I have a test tomorrow, so I need to spend my time studying for that. So I don't know when I'm gonna be able to film again, but as for what I'm currently reading, I am listening to the audiobook for The Diviners by Loba Bray, and it's really good so far. I'm not that far into it, but I am enjoying it. But for right now, I am outside studying because it is such a nice day out. I mean, look at that. Gorgeous. And there's my beautiful dog taking a little nap. So I'm still reading the diviners, but I just got this package in the mail that I'm super excited for. It is from Penguin and it is for Rachel Hawkins' new book, The Royals, which it's weird because Rachel Hawkins is an author that I never really think about. Her books aren't always ones that I'm like, oh, I'm going to get that and read it, even though I've read like four or five of her books and I really liked all of them. I don't know why for some reason she's not like an author that's ever on my mind. But this book actually sounds really cute. So I'm so excited that Penguin sent this to me. Let's see, it's kind of hard to open. Okay, there we go. What is inside? This is like an invitation to the wedding that I think the book is about. Then there's like this brooch thing there are tea biscuits. Pure butter shortbread. <laughs> this is like a fake gossip magazine about the royal wedding. Okay, so then the book is called The Royals by Rachel Hawkins. And it's about a girl named Daisy who her sister is engaged to the crown prince of Scotland and so she goes to Scotland for the wedding. She kind of gets swept up in like a royal adventure. I'm gonna be honest, I hate this cover. It is really cheesy but the book sounds cute and I'm excited and I have liked Rachel Hawkins previous books. This is really cute. I love all the little like marketing stuff. I get these promo boxes a lot and they're always so cool and have really cool things in them that relate to the book and I think publishing marketing departments are always just like so on point and they do such a good job but I wish this stuff wasn't just for reviewers that they could be for the readers as well I think that would be really cool but so update on my reading I have kind of given up on the diviners I've been trying so hard to push myself to read this book because I really am enjoying it but I'm like 150, 175 pages into it and I still feel like I'm in the introductory portion of the book and it's just taking me a lot longer to read this book than I normally like to spend on books. I'm the type of reader that if I can't get through a book in like two days, it's just going too slow for me and it kind of was starting to put me in a reading slump. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to finish it at some point, it's just not happening right now. But the other night I did read a book in one sitting, which was great because I felt like I got my reading mojo back. Um, it was the, the only book so far that I have finished this month, which is crazy because usually by this point in the month we're like halfway. By this point I've usually read like seven, eight books, but yeah I've only finished one book and it was Daughter of the Siren Queen, which is the sequel to 
Daughter of the Pirate King, and this is a duology. I read the first book last month, and I also read that book in one sitting, so both of these books are just super easy to digest, and they're just really fun and action-packed, and it's about this girl who is a pirate, and she has her own crew of pirates who are mostly female, and she is the daughter of the Pirate King, who is like the most powerful, fearsome pirate, and then her mom is the Siren Queen, and so she is half human, half siren, and she has these abilities. I love pirate stories and movies and TV shows. I just think pirates are super fun and interesting, but I've never been able to find books that do pirates well, and I think that the series really did. They were fun, and there was fighting that felt realistic. There was banter. But now I'm reading something that I'm loving so much. Um, it just came out, I think like a week ago it came out, and it's Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. I'm listening to it on audio, which I'm loving because the narrator is my all-time favorite narrator, Bonnie Turpin. She narrates a lot of books that I really loved, like um, Children of Blood and Bone, The Hate You Give. Um, she narrated both of Nicola Yoon's books, Everything Everything and The Sun is Also a Star. If you were like an avid audiobook listener and you read a lot of YA, you've probably listened to something that she's narrated. She does a great job, specifically with accents. In Dread Nation, she has a southern accent and I think they just sound really good. I've listened to a lot of narrators who try to do accents and they just do such a bad job, specifically with southern accents. They usually just sound super cringy and fake and hers is really good. But basically Dread Nation is a historical fiction horror book. Yeah, I guess that's how you would describe it. It takes place uh, during the Civil War or around the Civil War time and it follows a black teen who goes to this kind of like finishing school where they train young black teens to fight zombies because in this world there are zombies and the black kids uh, train to be like zombie slayers, I guess, um, to protect wealthy white people. It's really, really great so far. I really like zombies, so I'm super into it. I also, earlier, right after I took my final, I treated myself and I went to see A Quiet Place, and it was so good. I was the only one in the theater, which was honestly probably a really good thing because I hate going to the movies with people. Being in a movie theater is just one of the most stressful environments for me because I'm the type of person where if I'm watching a movie, I don't want you to make a single sound. I don't want to hear you breathing. I don't want to hear you eating. I don't want you to sneeze. Like, just don't make a sound. So I don't usually go to the movies with people because I turn into like a raging bitch and I feel really bad about it but I can't help it. I just get so like tense. So I typically go by myself so I don't make people miserable. But anyways, it was a really great movie. I honestly felt like I couldn't breathe the whole time. There were moments, I felt like such a cliche YA character because there were genuinely moments when I let out the breath I didn't know I was holding. I think people would like it even if you don't like horror movies because it was just a really well directed and acted and written movie. It was just all around really great. Oh, and tomorrow, oh my god, I'm gonna bring you guys with me because, well, bring you guys with me. I've been, I'll film some of it, but tomorrow I'm so excited because my family and I are going to, I think it's an animal shelter. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but we found these dogs online that we really like. I'm really excited, I love dogs. It's been a couple days since I have vlogged anything because, yes, because I have a little surprise slash something that has been taking up all of my attention for the past week. This is my new baby, Loki. Yes, I know you're excited to be on my channel. So I just adopted him on Friday and today is Tuesday and he's 11 months and he's just the most precious thing in the whole world. I love him so much. He's pretty much taken over my life. Everything now revolves around him. But in other news, other than little Loki, I have acquired some books. I only bought one of them because I've really been trying to not buy any books. This one, I just couldn't not buy when I saw it. 
Um, so I got Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. Um, this is her sophomore novel. I really enjoyed her first one, Everything I Never Told You, and I started reading this. I got like 100 pages into it and I was really enjoying it, but then I just got super busy with school and I never finished it. But now, I just took all my finals, I'm done with school for this semester, and I can pick it back up again. Um, so the next two were sent to me by Penguin, and it is an ember... <laughs> Maybe you can't sit with me while I do this. And it was an ember in the ashes and a torch against the night. Um, these are the new covers, which I wasn't a fan of when I saw these online. But seeing them in person, I actually really like them. And I like that they have white spines. They're just really nice. Um, and then they also sent me a little sampler of Reaper at the Gates, which comes out June 12th. Are you excited, Loki? Reaper at the Gates! It's coming out June 12th! I'm pretty sure that Reaper at the Gates... Never mind. I was gonna say I think it's the last book, but I genuinely have no idea because when the first book came out, I thought it was a standalone. Then when the second book came out, I thought it was a duology. Now I don't know. But, um, I did start in Ember in the Ashes. <laughs> this is kind of like a book haul where I started all these books, but I haven't finished. Um, and I was really enjoying it, but again, school. Definitely want to finish these and then I can go into Reaper at the Gates when it comes out in like two months. Hang on. I think my other dog is at the door and she wants to come in. Okay. Everyone's here. No one's left out. She was sad that she was left out. So next I have my book of the month which got a little bit beat up in the mail. So Book of the Month is a subscription service that I actually pay for myself. I just really like it. It's one of my favorite book services, so I just want to pay for it myself. I'm not affiliated or anything, but I do have a link that I will put in the description where if you sign up, I think you get an extra book for free and I get a book for free as well. I think this was April's, was Circe by Madeline Miller. She is the author of The Song of Achilles, which I have really been wanting to read. And this sounds amazing. This is about Circe who, um, when she's born, she is just really powerful. And Zeus feels very threatened by her, so he banishes her to a deserted island. I don't know much about this. I'm not super well versed in Greek mythology. I know the basics. I want to read The Song of the Achilles first though, even though I don't think, I, I think they stand apart, like you don't have to have read one to read the other. I just want to read The Song of Achilles first and then read this one, but I, I'm just really, really excited. So the last thing I have is Page Habit, which I am a Page Habit ambassador and I get the fantasy box, basically Page Habit. They have different genres that you can choose from and every month they donate to a literary cause. So March's donation was to Kenya and they give you like a little bit of information about where they're donating to, the literacy rates. They always come with a couple of like bookish things. So this first thing I've actually gotten before because they had this in a quarterly box, which is their subscription service. Page Habit is monthly and then they also have a quarterly box that's obviously quarterly. And so I've gotten this thing in their quarterly box before and I use it and I really like it. It's this photo holder. So it's magnetic and you just kind of like unravel it. You can like hang it on a wall, and then they have these magnets that you can attach your pictures to it, and I really like it. I used this when I lived in a dorm room a lot. It was just like a really convenient way to hang pictures and not, like, because when you're in your dorm room, you can't really actually put nails in the wall and hang things up, so this was just like an easy way to do that. There is this adult coloring book that has, um, looks like butterfly pictures in it. I really like coloring these type of things um, when I'm listening to audiobooks. And then for the book. So this is what I'm actually really excited about. I saw this on Goodreads and I put it on my TBR. It's called oh, Blood of the Four and it's written, it's, it's co-authored by Christopher Golden and Tim Levon. Basically this takes place in a fantasy world. It says in the great kingdom of Quandis everyone is a slave. Some are slaves to the gods, most are slaves to everyone else. And it's about this princess who wants to claim ultimate power and glory for herself. And I actually have this on audio, so I want to listen to it soon. Page Habit always has little annotated notes from the author, which is great. 
those are really fun to read while you're reading the book. Oh my god, I almost forgot one book that I bought that I haven't showed you guys. The best one of the bunch. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. I almost forgot to show you guys this because I read it and I, I put it on my red shelf. It was separate from my pile of new books. Um, but yeah, I read this, absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars. It was one of my favorite YA books I've read this year. And this book is absolutely gorgeous. Like the map inside, it's just a beautiful book and the words are beautiful as well. It takes place in a fantasy world that's inspired by West Africa. There is a class of people called magi and they have magic and then under the rule of this ruthless king he destroyed magic and killed all the magi adults. Now there is just a bunch of people called diviners who are kids that had the potential to get magic but now there are just no longer magic. It follows three different perspectives and four main characters. Um, one of them being this girl on the cover, Zele, who is a diviner and she discovers a way to restore magic to this world and she works with the princess and her brother to restore magic and they are being hunted down by the prince who also has some secrets of his own that he's trying to hide. It was great. I highly recommend it. So that's my book haul and that's my dog. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck am I doing here? Get me away from these bright lights. He's the cutest. Like. I'm not even kidding when I say he has to be by my side every second of the day. I took a shower this morning and I could hear him like scratching the door the entire time. It's really cute but it also makes me kind of sad because I'm like oh my god he was just so desperate for a human companion. <laughs>